Hi everybody, welcome to Day Z, and I'm hiding up on this ledge up here at Krona Castle because there's um, something rather nasty wandering around the castle, and that is, hopefully we can see it in a second, a bear. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to spawn bears at uh, Krona Castle and the other castles and ruins around Day Z um, to make the castles, I don't know, a little bit a little bit more special in terms of the challenge that they um, pose. Um, the only thing I haven't really done with this is created, you know, a, a risk and reward factor. Oh, there's a helicopter crash over there. Um, so one of the things you may want to consider is after you've put, oh there it is after you've put the bears on, think about you know is it worth doing some custom JSONs to spawn in or to, to actually not custom JSONs, some custom events to spawn in some better gear so that the risk of coming to the castle and encountering one of these beasts, or more than one, <laughs> is worth it because they're very, very difficult to kill. Now this is for Chenerous on PC and console. It's very, very easy to do. And what you want to do is you want to go over to my GitHub repository. Um, I'll put a link in the, in the description below this video. And all of the instructions that you, are, you need are included in the readme.txt. So you can just copy that, put it into your uh, favorite text editor and then slowly work your way through it or you can click on the little code button download the zip and download all of the files the files included are the readme which has the instructions a couple of photos of uh, bears <laughs> and then you have the bear locations as well so here we go and as you can see this is so it should be he said if you can move around all of the castles and ruins of castles in Cherest. I may well have finished them off. Now, I'll let you into a little secret. I was a little bit lazy with these ones. And what I did was at the the larger castles, like the one on Skiliski Island and Corona Castle, and I think Devil's Castle as well, what I did was that I've uh, I used the spawns that I created for my Mummies at Castles event. So there's actually two bears at some of these castles. That's what these overlapping circles mean. So, so you know, be uh, be be aware, bear, be aware of that when you come to do this. Okay, so let's go back and let's go to the README. So download them and open up the file in your favourite text editor. I'm using Notepad++ and then slowly read through and it tells you exactly what to do. So the first thing we need to do is we need to replace the existing bears um, entry in our uh, events.xml for the one that is included here. So what that means is on your server, you'll want to um, go to your server, go to the file browser, that'll take you here, click on Xbox Missions, which will take you here, click on plus, which will take you here, go into the DB folder, so click on that, which will take you here, click on the events.xml file, which will take you here, and the animal event equals animal bear event. You just want to highlight all of that, sort of kind of like that. And then, uh, so you would do sort of this sort of thing. And then you would go over to the snippet and just copy all of that. And then just paste that on top of that. Like so. So what that's doing here is we've increased the number of bear events that should happen at the same time to 11. That's what these figures do. Um, but we kept it at one. So at each bear event that happens, there should only be one bear spawning. But remember, we, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you why there's more than one in one place in a second as well. Um, and I've just included these little comments saying vanilla is two, vanilla is two, if you want to turn them back. So that's what that does. So then the next thing we want to do is we want to go into our um, uh, territories entry for bears and add in the new territories. So if we go back here, uh, we're going to go into the env folder. So click on that and that will get you into this file and then open up the bear territories.xml and that will open up this one. And what you want to do is at the top, you can see I've already pasted it in, but at the top you want to grab bears at castles territories entry, like so. And what you'll be doing 
is you'll be pasting it underneath territory type. Now I've already put it in, so for mine, if I select all of this, I will paste that in. Okay, so if we go back to Notepad++, I'll kind of show you what this does. So what this does is each one of these little territories here with the X and the Z coordinate, that's a, a point on one of the castles or castle ruins around Chernus. And each one has its own territory. So they're all they're all separate territories, and that's why they spawn in. However, some of the territories are close to each other, so that's where you get two at one point. And that's how we get the bears to spawn in. So there's 11 territories here, and there's 11 events that should happen, um, and so that kind of should fill up the, the different XMLs. So, for example, if we go back and we look here, if I open up um, uh, Vanilla++ Plus Plus and we look at the bears, how many have spawned in, you can see down here it says 11 have spawned in. And if we go around, you'll see they'll be at the different castles. Okay. So, so so that's it now there is one other step we need to do though and this is something you'll have to decide if you want to do it or not yourself so with what we've done bears will spawn spawn at the castles but they will also spawn at their existing spawns as well because we haven't got rid of those spawns so if you only want bears to spawn at the castles instead of all over the map as well as castles what you need to do is in your um, bear territories file after what we've pasted in with the bears and castles end you want to comment them out so in in daisy xmls if you use the left um uh, arrow bracket exclamation mark dash dash everything after that will then be a comment until we put in another dash dash and then right um angle bracket see there and then you make sure you leave that bit. So what, what I've done is I've commented out all of this stuff, which are the ordinary places where bears would spawn. In fact, it's probably easier if I show you here. So the beauty of using something like Notepad++ is it color codes everything. So if I do um, left angle bracket, exclamation mark, there's uh, dash. Gosh, I can't remember. There you go, dash, dash. See how everything has gone green? That means it's a comment. Now we don't want to, we can't just leave it at that because that would then comment out the last closing uh, arguments. We don't want that. So we put in dash dash right arrow bracket. And as you can see, that has now commented out all of this stuff. So the game doesn't read any of this stuff. Anything you see inside these arrow brackets, the game doesn't read in an XML. It, go, it just ignores it. So if we do that and then we save, um, so on our server, let's just check I've done that. So I've done that. We've done that. So if I save that now and then restart, sorry, and then you should also, so I should have said in your events as well, make sure you hit save and then you restart your server. That will then get those bears spawning in those particular uh, locations all over the map. So, so that's really a choice that you've got to make, whether you want the bears to only spawn at the castles or whether you want to sp them to spawn all over the map but more of them are going to be spawning in their normal locations because we've set the events up to 11 so there's 11 bears that will spawn in at any one time and at the castles and i guess i guess that's really up to you isn't it how, how you want to it because i guess if people know there's bears at every single castle um will will they avoid the castles whereas if there's just a chance that there's bears there they might go to them but that's why i think also we need to think about adding something to the castles to make them a little bit more of a go-to looting place, you know, to, to take that risk of taking on the bear. Um, but that's something for another video. So anyway, go to the GitHub repository uh, in the that's got a link below the in that's got a link in the description below this video and uh, check it out and give your server players a little bit more of a challenge. Remember, this works for PC and console. Um, so if you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more, the same press subscribe, and I will of course see you again soon.